King's secret. Why would I lie to you, my dear? I might be a joker, but my tongue is truthful. All these legends they tell children about courageous knights who are fearlessly slaying dragons and fighting giants. I've had the pleasure to get to know a few of them, but my friend, I want to tell you about the two in particular, whose names I'd rather not disclose. Returned crusaders officially knighted by King Julius himself for their battle accomplishments. Exemplary men, if you ask me, or anyone for that matter, in our grand kingdom, since their battle days were behind, they became domesticated, staying at the castle and acting as watchmen, maintaining peace within the castle grounds, preventing crimes and ensuring public safety, while spending more time with their families as both of the men were wedded and had children, who in turn, when the time comes, will continue their honorable legacy. They both participated in numerous battles, leading conquests under the king's name, the knights bathed in blood of their enemies. They were good friends, a bond that was strengthened more and more with time. They would watch Justin together for entertainment, perhaps relieving their glory days, observing others ramming the lenses into each other. I've noticed them riding out into the woods on their war horses. Just the two of them, every other week, with crossbows on their backs. Hunting, the common folk would assume they were doing in those woods. But, my friend, despite them usually coming back with the game, they'd hunted, I was still the one to find out the actual reason why the two gallant knights went on those horseback trips. They would lay down the banner on the grass and practice something else instead of their archery skills. Something far different and more bonding for two men, more personal. They would indulge in adultery under those oak trees, far from their families, far from anyone's gaze but mine. I would be the sole witness to their lustrous activities. When you see noble knights, fully adorned in their heavy armor, riding their loyal horses and swinging their deadly swords, the last thing you can picture is an image showing two of these chivalrous men, undressed with their hairy bodies, glistening in the rays seeping through the oaks, muscles fully tensed and blood vessels prominently visible, bestial frames of two burly bears, brothers in arms intoxicated by lust for one another, pushing their pelvises in the same gait as the horses gallop, practiced all too well by them, with one knight on his knees facing the other knights behind, sprawled before him on all fours, resembling a wild crater, strictly for their pleasure with no purpose of continuing their legacy and bearing more children, as it is no secret to you, my dear, men can't bear children. To highborn knights, who despite their size and vigor, behave rather as dainty dames, riven on the grass, caught in the act of sodomy. King's Secret